Well, the weather causing problems for Lake Erie, of course, it's known for bearing the brunt of sewage and stormwater runoff when it rains. But officials say the Cuyahoga River continues to endure the most of it. News 5's Bryn Caswell shares progress on a $3 billion project clean lake and how another agency is stepping in to help the public health side of things. As the Cuyahoga River runs long, its history with pollution runs deeper. Parts of the river, like Walworth Run, still suffer from an unhealthy amount of sewage. That's discharging about 80 times a year, 300 million gallons of combined sewage going out into the, the Cuyahoga River. Jeannie Smith with Northeast Sewer District says Walworth Run will start seeing results from part of the $3 billion infrastructure project, which started in 2011. New infrastructure will minimize 300 million gallons of sewage overflow to 3 million gallons, once a year starting the end of 2023. It's um, certainly very intensive. It's also very expensive, but also very necessary. Despite decades worth of reconstruction already completed, Lake Erie continues to suffer from sewage overflow during heavy rain spells. It has happened twice already in July, and Edgewater Beach had to close due to high levels of bacteria. Smith says the sewer district is looking at modifying sensors to fix the issue. Maybe uh, they won't trigger an overflow event and rather will redirect that flow to the plant. So we're looking at how we modify, modify that, that pipe so that we're minimizing the amount of overflows that are, that are happening over the course of a year. The Cleveland Water Alliance is also working on new technology to alert the sewer district and metro parks of potential bacteria-filled waters from overflows. Samantha Martin with CWA says it normally takes up to six hours to get that information. When there's bacteria in the water, they have to go out and physically collect samples, take it back to a lab, analyze those samples, and then alert the public for any public uh, safety concerns, which six hours might not sound like a long time, but if it's something like a public health and safety concern, that can be a big deal. The new technology would instantaneously send data back to officials. We have some promising leads and our partners at the sewer district um, are eager to pilot something like that. While progress is being made, Smith says there's still a significant need in the region. We have billions of dollars of work that has to be done, and we have to really invest in our sewer and water infrastructure because it is our most precious resource. In Cleveland, Bryn Caswell, News 5.